Now that we have a full backup of all the data on our computer, we can attempt to restore. As you can see on my desktop, I have an example document. I'm going to delete this file so that I can simulate a file that has been lost or gone missing. Now we need to ensure that the backup is connected to our computer. As you can see here, my backups have been restored to an external hard drive. In order to restore the file, we need to first of all click on the Start button, then from the Search Programs and Files, type in Backup. Then in the search, we need to locate Backup and Restore. When we click this option, we're presented with the Backup and Restore panel. You'll notice there is a Restore My Files button. You will also notice that there is a Restore All User Files option, a Select Another Backup to Restore Files From option, and if your computer has had a major failure, Recover System Settings or Your Computer option. As we have just lost a single file, I'm going to click on Restore My Files. We're now presented with a window that allows us to search for files on our backup, browse for files on our backup, or browse for folders on our backup. As I know that the file I want to restore was on the desktop, I'm going to click on Browse for Files. I am now shown the contents of my previous backups. To make browsing for files easier, Microsoft have divided your backup into two separate groups. I'm going to choose My Profile, which is My Doodad's Backup, and then I'm going to choose Desktop, because that's where the file was stored. When I open the Desktop folder, I can find the example document that I previously deleted. If I highlight that file, then click Add Files, I'm now shown a window which summarizes all of the files or folders that I'm going to be restoring. When I click Next, I'm offered the option to restore the file in the original location or to restore the file in a different location. I'm going to choose the original location, so I'm simply going to click Restore. You can now see that my lost file has been restored back to the desktop. Finally, I can now close the Backup and Restore window.